Hey, welcome back to Big Board. I thought it might be worthwhile to touch base on Next World Korea, this collapse scenario from the CC, uh, C3I magazine number 27. Give you an update on where we're at. We're part of the way through turn four. In fact, we are just wrapping up the basic movement and combat phase, which means that the elite or initiative, uh, I should say, the initiative player has already had a round of combat and exploit movement and fun things like that. <clears throat> and we've gone through some of the air war and some of the striking and uh, special for forces operations and cruise missile strikes and headquarter strikes and helicopter strikes and you name it, we've done it. We've kind of got to the point now where we have an interesting situation uh, Along this line here, there were uh, several uh, DPRK units, and there was also here that had a stack of uh, reduced airborne units who were very tenacious. It took me three, uh, it took me two full attacks this turn to finally knock them out, allow my guys to advance, and now we put a clearing marker on them. Similarly here, uh, there was a uh, one DPRK unit there that took two rounds of combat to actually fight. Uh, I didn't know until this turn that that was actually a Pyongyang, Pyongyang Hex. And I, I was like, oh wow, so that, uh, that label actually covers both those hexes there. And that meant that I had to change my plan as the as the Americans, uh, the Allies, because I was really focusing on knocking this guy out, and then these these two hexes would have been difficult to to capture for either side, and so it was just going to be fairly balanced, right? There's uh, one hex here, one hex here, and I think there's no, there's not a hex there, and so that meant we'd have to fight over these last two hexes and. You know, we could arguably call it a draw or something like that if we needed to because uh, I was kind of running out of time to, to play the game. But then I saw this was a city hex here. I was like, oh, crap. So uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I, I, I attacked here and then I airborne dropped in. I had to kill a stack of three units here first. Lots and lots of air, lots of choppers, lots of headquarter strikes uh, prior to the event to try and soften things up. So you really got a good feel for kind of the uh, combined arms effects of the game system. And then the other thing you've got to be prepared to do here is send your best guys in. These little battalions of Marines with their seven rated uh, effectiveness rating at a half step, they're tiny. But um, <clears throat> you're going to be prepared to lose them. Uh, use them or lose them. Uh, this turn I lost one, two, two uh, Marine battalions and uh, an American uh, that's a brigade an American brigade a full uh, division of the the rock and another another brigade of armor from the rock uh, in response to that all of these units here bit it but it was expensive and and quite alarmingly so so we're in this hex now, we've got a clearing marker on it. These guys uh, paid to get themselves back into supply because they're cut off uh, from their uh, supply source and all that sort of fun stuff that's off map at the moment. Uh, so they tried doing that emergency resupply and was successful here but unsuccessful here. Now the attacking into here is gonna be interesting and problematic. I've kept an HQ, MEU HQ over here. Uh, sorry, MEF HQ and this MEU, uh, one of those two will be available to support them defensively. We made an amphibious landing here, which actually went through uh, very luckily with the appropriate roles. The, uh, so the death rate is high. As I go back and look at the scenario rules, though, I find, I'm finding that it says the two city hexes or the two hexes of Pyongyang. And I'm wondering exactly what that means because there's technically five. There's two here. That's maybe the terrain chart can tell me something. What can the terrain chart tell me? It calls that an urban hex, which makes sense. That's what we've come to expect. Um, Where's the end of the thing? Here we go. Scenario ends when Pyongyang hexes are controlled by a non-DPRK. 
no, when both Pyongyang hexes. So I think these are the only two hexes that matter. So all this desperate fighting that we were doing earlier on to capture these guys uh, is probably a non-event or that has to happen at some point. So perhaps that we've just accelerated the cadence and the, and the kill rate a little faster than might normally be the case. But now Pyongyang is defended to the hilt. This is the only guy that doesn't suffer that effectiveness rating drop. He stays a six. Everybody else is a four here. Uh, so these guys uh, are going to hang tough, and now both sides are going to try and get in on this. I would say, based on where we sit right now, that the game has probably fallen clearly into the favor of the Allies. They can sit, sit back and not attack this Hex this turn. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe try and attack this Hex. Who knows? But uh, they could hold off on doing that and see what the see what the uh, Chinese do, because they're going to have a hard time taking that that bad boy. That's going to be a uh, fifty. Uh, it's going to be sixteen factors to ten factors. It's a one to one attack. Um, two to one to one, one and a half to one. It's going to be a two to one attack. That's the best they're going to get unless they can bring some choppers in, uh, face some a some AA. Not one hundred percent clear if the allies can intercept these with early detection uh, because they're attacking rocky uh, attacking dprk units or not so the who gets to intercept what not 100 percent clear on that but we've been pretty much letting everybody have a, a bite at the apple because it just seems more fun that way uh, more die rolling more more activity more story it's all good so uh, maybe we let them try and take that hex no way they're going to get to this hex this this turn that allows us to reshuffle our dudes around a little bit lay some heavy cruise missile uh attacks on um well headquarter strikes and whatnot and air strikes on this hex and really soften it up and then we can just easily take it and then it'll be up to the chinese and the americans to fight over the last hex if that is indeed what we wish to do so that's what's going on right now thought i'd uh, share that with you we'll talk to you soon